<sighs> Good afternoon, everyone. I just got a pop-up. on. Every time I get up here, I get pop-ups from some of the people that I'm subscribed to. I guess notifications from them. Uh, but nevertheless, y'all, I'm washed out. I just came back from the foot doctor, and I got some good news. She says the uh, fungus on my foot seems to be clearing up. And uh, for me to continue to use, you know, I went to my back to my old doctor, and she says I can continue to use it. So it seems to be working, and I got new growth on my foot, on my, my toenail. The world is that? I don't know what that was. Well, it must be maintenance or something. But anyway, she says that um, uh, I got new growth and I can continue to use the medication that that doctor, the other doctor prescribed. But I'm not going back to him. I'm gonna go stick with I'm gonna stick with them. I'm just gonna stick with the you know what I know. Because um I think I like that better. I like them better. And she gave me a dirt a good toenail. I said, Wow, my feet look great. Every time I go to the foot doctor, I can't get over how much better they look, you know, after it's look, you know, she, Ah, because they had grew out. I was going to record on this phone, but it was in my purse, you know, when I can't, because I just got home, actually. I changed my pants, but I didn't change my top, and I didn't take my new hat off. I have my new hat on up here for y'all to see. Check it out, check it out, check it out. That's the one I bought when I was downtown with my sister. And uh, I was going to wear... These, these things, my feet are so swollen, I can't even wear these. And these, well, you know, I can get my feet in them, but I'm not comfortable in them. They're too tight because of my feet are swollen. And so, you know, cause these are the ones I usually wear when I go to the foot doctor. And I couldn't, and then plus that, they match my hat, sort of. And they match my new little purse. Remember my little purse? So, you know, I was trying to be macky macky. But my appointment was only, you know, for a short while. I, I left out of here. My, my the driver came, um, I think it was about 25 after 1. And then I got back home maybe, maybe 10 minutes ago. So I've been back in the house for a while. And I'm starving because I haven't had lunch. I, I, you know, because I was getting ready to go for my appointment, time I get my shower and all that together and all this blah, blah, because I slept late. Like I said, I've been sleeping late, late, you know, late, lately. I've been sleep, which, let me put it this way. I've been sleeping in lately. And so when I got up, it was kind of late. And so... By the time I got myself ready, I told the driver to pick me, told them to pick me up at one, what did I tell them to pick? 1.15, because my appointment was 1.45. So I said, pick me up at 1.15. So I'm getting ready. Matter of fact, they came before. It was time for me to go. So they were about five, the driver was about five minutes early. And I had just put my clothes on and, and everything like that. And he couldn't, he called me, and he said he couldn't find where I was. You know, a lot of people can't find my address. I don't know why. I guess it's because it's, you know, the way I'm uh, located, the location of my apartment. And so he called me, and I told him, I, then I ran, I, I was dressed enough so that I could go on the porch. You know, I had my clothes on all except I didn't have my sweater on. And, um... What else didn't I have? I didn't have my cane with me because I took my cane when I usually, you know, travel by car or something like that. I'll take my cane with me because I didn't take my, I didn't feel like being bothered with my scooter because that doctor's office was so crowded today. I probably wouldn't have been able to get my scooter in there anyway. And they have absolutely nowhere. This is what I don't understand. How are you going to be a foot doctor's office 
and you don't have room for people with a wheelchair. I've seen people in there with wheelchairs, don't get me wrong. But they just don't have the accommodations for really for someone who has a, a wheelchair. And my scooter, you've seen how big my scooter is. It's not that big, but you know, you've seen the length. It's it's long. And uh, I said, I've never seen a doctor's office like that, that you can't even uh, get wheelchairs up in there. Two or three. You should be able to, to accommodate at least two or three unless you're booking them on a certain day, you know. But anyway, I didn't take my scooter with me. I just took my uh, little cane, my little cane sitting over there on my table. And I was out of there. Matter of fact, I spent more time waiting for my ride to come to pick me up at 2.30 than I did actually, you know, in the doctor's office. Because they were done. She was in there. She done clipped the nail and did everything. Wow, that's half of my nail is gone, y'all. It looks weird, but I can tell you one thing. It looks better. And so she told me I could actually use um for fungus like on my toes and stuff. She told me I could actually use va uh, Vicks Vapor, vapor Rub. What you doing now, doctor? <laughs> but she said, she said that I could still use the, uh, the this medication that I was taking from the other doctor. She said, you could still use that because it's working. She said she saw a new growth on my toenails. But she says, maybe if I could just, you know, I told her how long it takes to dry. So this thing takes over like two hours to even get dry. And so she says, okay, well, maybe you could just use it once a day, like maybe before you go to bed or, you know, while you're sitting around leisurely, you're not doing it too much or anything. And you could use it at that time. But in the meantime, in the between time, use the vapor rub, put some, put some vapor rub on it. I don't have no vapor rub. Now I gotta go to and buy some vapor rub? Get out of here. Buy no, I might buy some when I go out, but I ain't going to the store special to get none. I was gonna go today because I wanted me some Popeye's chicken, but I ain't going back out there to get that because I got chicken that's done in the oven, I mean, done in the kitchen already. And so that's, and I got some, um, uh, what do you call those things that lady told me? I think they're kale, but they look more like turnip greens. I got those from the farmer's market the other day. And uh, I need to cook those. Those are in the refrigerator part. And I bought some horrible looking... I, I don't know. I think they look horrible. Um, Let me show them. I don't think I showed y'all these. Let me put them in here so you can see. Look at this. This is garlic. Because somebody told me, now this one looks like it's really bad. I don't know, y'all. This is my first time buying some fresh garlic. I don't even know how to save it. Well, how do I save it? Do I put it in some vinegar or something? I don't know. I got to look it up. But if y'all know you want to leave it in the comments, I appreciate it because that's my first rodeo for garlic. I used to buy my garlic already prepared and all that blah, blah, blah. But this, is, this came from the farmer's market. When you see them in the grocery store, of course, they don't look quite, I don't think, like that. But I buy the mints. You know, I have the mints, chopped garlic or whatever. Garlic chopped garlic uh, powder or whatever. I don't buy garlic salt. I don't buy that salt anymore. I buy the ones, you know, just the garlic powder. Garlic powder, onion powder. And I'm hungry, like I said, and so I'm going to make me a... Uh, I don't know. I think I might have tuna again. Instead of chicken and then have the chicken later on for dinner. Because I haven't had lunch. Like I said, I haven't had lunch. And I think it would be easier for me to make the tuna and it would for the, to make the chicken. Well, not, well, I could make the chicken salad again, but I don't want to. I don't want to make the tuna either. I really want to eat out. Ah, brother. 
my cookies came. Look at that from Amazon. Matter of fact, I'm gonna call Amazon and tell Amazon about these cookies. But these things are good, y'all. I got them. They're called Walker. Wait a minute. Where's the box? I took them out of the box. I put the box in. The tr Wait a minute. I just put the box in the tray. Let's see. They're shortbread. This is the box. But they're kind of expensive. That you only get like nine in a box, but I had ordered these from Amazon because I liked them so much. You know, I had bought a box when I went down when my sister and I had gone downtown, and they're shortbread, like shortbreads, uh, something well, not mm, Lona Dunes, I guess Lona Dunes. And look at how broken they are. This is how they came broken. You know, I had two boxes. I didn't open the other box yet. But I think I'm going to call uh, Amazon and tell them about these broken up cookies. You know. They don't usually take cookies back. I don't know if they send me some more or give me credit for them. But I'm going to do that while it's fresh in my mind. And I'm not going to hold y'all up. Matter of fact, I'm like I said, I'm, I got to make myself some lunch because I'm starting to feel some kind of way. And uh, I shall talk to you again soon.